Hi everyone, in today's video I am trying out HelloFresh. Prior to this I did try Blue Apron twice, so that was two different meal kits. One I got at a discounted rate, one I got at a full price rate just to gauge if it's really worth it or not. Having tried both the discount and the full price, I figured let me try HelloFresh and let's see what it has to offer since it's also a meal kit service sent to your home. Similar to Blue Apron, they do run a promotion, but their promotion always says like 16 meals free, 18 meals free, lifetime free breakfast item. And the way they work is those 16 or 18 meals is offered as a discount across your first nine meals, if I'm not mistaken. So this only cost me $21.96 shipped. They give you free shipping. So if I'm not mistaken, the next time I do HelloFresh, it's still discounted, but I have to pay for shipping. So I think it goes up to th basically $35 shipped. And then if it ever goes back to the normal rate without any discounts, it's $56, but across the board, you always get a free breakfast option. So just in that aspect alone, it's already cheaper than Blue Apron at the full price because we're doing the same thing. Two meals in a week, two servings per meal. So in total, this box has four servings in it at $56. And even if Blue Apron was $56, this includes a breakfast meal too. So if so facto, cheaper. Oh no. See, I actually do like to keep the recipe cards. So to see that my recipe cards are all squished, that's kind of a bummer. It's not the end of the world, but meh. Side note too, I don't know if I have a referral code or not. This video is not sponsored. Anything is paid out of pocket, but if I do and you guys want to try it out, my referral code would be linked in this video's description below. But the first meal we chose is a pub style shepherd's pie and we actually just got a nice cast iron skillet. So I don't know if I should use that or if I should just stick to the recipe as is because clearly I just show a basic pan over here. I love shepherd's pie. I do actually make this at home and that's why I was curious because even though this is one of the meals that I'm actually good at making, I wondered how theirs tasted because I've definitely had some good shepherd's pie and I've definitely tasted some very mediocre shepherd's pie. So I am a schnob when it comes to this because I do love this so much. Looking at the ingredients, comes with potatoes, carrots, celery, onion, sour cream, garlic powder, thyme, ground beef, tomato paste, flour, beef stock, and white cheddar cheese. Here's the complete recipe card if you would like to screenshot this and print it out by all means. This tells you to bust out <laughs> peeler, a pot, a pan. I think with Blue Apron, they sent you an email saying like, hey, you're gonna need olive oil and pans and stuff, but here it says it all. It's probably also available online. So this is what I'll be making today. And this will be like the more in-depth cooking. And then at, after this, different day, but same video, I'll be making steak with mushroom cream sauce. With Blue Apron, I did make a steak dish. So that's why I figured this would be the second dish in this video where I kind of just show you before and then I show you it cooked rather than being more in-depth where I video all the steps like I'm going to with the shepherd's pie. So in this sad card, we have the ingredients, potatoes, carrots, mushrooms, garlic, scallions, ranch steak, I don't even know what that is, beef stock and sour cream. And again, for any chefs out there, screenshot this, print it out, feel free to make it. Sorry, this one's a little crumpled up. Of course, I'll give my final opinion at the end of the video if it was worth the, we'll just say $22 shipped. I can already say it probably will be because I mean, it's steak and shepherd's pie. Come on now. All right, so opening it up, we have a nice solid ice pack. So I can already see that they package differently than Blue Apron. Blue Apron, um, they kind of just have the vegetables in see-through bags with the meat underneath. Oh, I forgot to even tell you, this was the breakfast item we chose. Let me get the recipe card. Where is it at? That's why I didn't notice because it was so small. This is the free breakfast item we chose. So I will also show that at the end of the video before and after. We'll see if I can make it look like this. Are those tortilla chips? I'm so confused by that. And they are. So scallions, eggs, brioche buns, hot sauce, tortilla chips, tomato, Mexican cheese blend, mayonnaise, and guacamole. Recipe. So it looks like they just put everything in their own prepackaged brown paper bag. So there's no thinking when it comes to that. So we have the breakfast. Orange is the steak with mushroom cream sauce. And red is the shepherd's pie. At the bottom, we have the ranch steak and the ground beef. Blue Apron always said like grass fed and everything. This doesn't, so I'll have to look online and see if they do like grass fed beef and steak or whatever. All right, ain't nothing to it. Let's get cooking. Two 
two onions seemed a lot to me. So I looked at the recipe card. It was only supposed to be one. I was like, okay, bonus onion. But then look, I saw the inside of one and I was like, ooh. So I'm still unsure if the two was a mistake or if they gave it to me because both were kind of going bad. As far as the amount of potatoes go, I'll say that was my error because I did make all of them, but I was like, that's a lot of potatoes. So I only ended up mashing some of them versus all of them. It does look like the photo though, because in the photo, they just have the potatoes in the middle and kind of left the outside open. I did end up adding a little bit of extra cheese. We are a cheesy household here. Here is my review of this dish. It is meh. It didn't really give me that true shepherd's pie taste, the richness, the robustness. It just, eh, it fell flat for me. This definitely isn't a recipe that I would make again. My boyfriend said the taste was interesting. <laughs> it wasn't bad, it was edible, but it wasn't great. We both preferred my shepherd's pie, so I guess that's a good thing, right? Now the next dish, I'm just gonna show you it completed and I'll show you the little card of what it's supposed to look like and what it did look like. It's the breakfast sandwich and I'm just gonna be honest, I wouldn't get this again. Even though it was free, I still would opt out of it and choose a different option. The flavors didn't really go together. The tortilla chips on the sandwich, it was weird. It just reminds me if you were a college student, came home late from a night of drinking and just looked in your fridge and kind of threw everything together. It was a lot of flavors together. It was just, it was too much, too much. And that brings us to our last dish, which was this steak with the mushroom cream sauce. This was delicious. I would order this again. I feel like you get your money's worth out of it. It was fairly simple to make, similar to when I made the steak with the Blue Apron. Both are very comparable. If I had to compare HelloFresh to Blue Apron, I am gonna say I think Blue Apron has better recipes and better quality ingredients, even though they have less meal options available. I just feel like their stuff overall is just the better of the two, which kind of makes sense, I guess, why you get more for your money with HelloFresh. So you kind of give up on the quality. All right, guys, well, thanks for hanging out with me today. If you want, feel free to like and subscribe. And until next time, bye, friends.